Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. I have a journal I finally completed. This was inspired by the lovely Eva Bohemian Crafting. She did her um, a tutorial on the corset spine cover. Oh, my goodness. It is so fun. If you haven't tried that, um, give it a try. She has an awesome tutorial. So I did this. Um, the book is eight and a half by five and a half. A little over 80 pages, two signatures, and as soon as I untie it, it's going to like boing open because that's what I do. I, I just, flat books and me just aren't, we don't get along, so I'm not even going to try anymore. So the front is layered with a vintage bingo card, vintage music. Um, this is new, just inked up a um, applique. Pinterest and lace, there's seam binding, this is sari silk, just a collage of items that I love. Inside is not the easiest to write in as usual, but those who like my book know that. Uh, let me sit down here. I did, I used Scrabby Dabby Doodah Paris theme this time on cream color paper, so the colors are very muted. And I did a lot of, um, just added stuff. This is a waxed parchment um, paper um, envelope. There is more applique at the bottom of this little envelope. I did a lot of little envelopes. It's just, this is more just like a decoration and introduction. And then I have um, this scrap paper and receipts. I tried to use, make a lot of my own ephemera. And then there's just some tags in there. And I did tr try to leave some writing spot. I will include a writing board. I didn't make it, but I will make one. This is just, again, a guest check from A Tattered Dream along with music paper on it. Then I got my die cutting out. So I did a lot of die cutting and punching in this book. The pages are all ripped, so I didn't do a lot of... Uh, I did some edging, but not on the edge edge with the laces and stuff. This is from Jeannie. I love that little button girl. I just cut it out. And then, again, I just took some of the receipts from Tsunami Rose and Artie Mays and just ripped them up and then put them with, um, I love these um, deposit tickets. And those, um, most of this paper is all avocado and tea dyed. And then this page, I just did a collage piece with vintage pieces. And then I forgot who this was. And it just tucks in there. And then this is just a time card from a tattered dream that I put on my die cut. And I just made a flip. And you could probably put a paper clip on it if you want. And that pretty paper. And another die cut. And that just flips open on a hinge. And this is music paper. I just made a large tag. You can cut it up if you want. You can glue it. Here is a book page pocket from Miss Patricia Pockets. Miss Patricia Pockets. Miss Patricia Veramonte. <laughs> she does make a lot of pockets. The book page queen. And then there's just a lot of little tucks in there and I did some stamping now this was um this is just a little fold over and it, it's on a pocket hinged on a page and this was a uh the original girls handy book it was a new book so I just um tore it apart and I just um copied or just inked it up I think and then I just made a um a pocket in there but it had something to do with art so I liked it and I left it and then here again is a flip over with a paper clip. And this is the Tiffany cards with um, just a little envelope. And these are also from a Tattered Dream. I'm sure I'm still in frame all this time. And this is a envelope that is sewed on. I put it right in the spine on a piece of muslin. And this is music paper with some very old vintage... Um, cotton thread is really cool I love using it so I just left that like I said it kind of lays flat but not really I'm not gonna lie to you and these are these little envelopes I was watching Deli Girl last night and um, 
She had some measurements for some different envelopes. So I made some of them. Thank you, Miss Cheryl. And again, and then I had this little tiny pair of stamps. So I made them some receipts. Here I just made a pocket out of a piece of paper and then made some coordinating tags to go with it. And I will do a tutorial on that because that'll be my one of my what's on my trays with just one piece of six by six paper. That's how many things you can make with that. And look, look at the paper. It's all empty. And this is on a bag again from a tattered dream. And I just made a um, collage with the my little uh, envelopes. Made it a tuck. Made this tag a tuck, and I've made another little envelope that tucks in that. So if you wanted to spread this out, you could, or you could leave it the empty pages and just use them where you wanted. Another little pocket, and there's a pocket there. I'll stick something in there. In the middle of the uh, first signature is uh, another little envelope that I made. And then I did the paper, and this one, it has three, so I just tucked that in there. This I just collaged up, and I made a little, another little, just a book page. It was a poetry book, and I put some tags in there, and then I just put some vintage and new stuff together as a collage piece. Then this is a um, bag from Denise's shop, and I put the other half of the bingo card that I tore from the front. I didn't waste it. Made another little envelope, and then just collaged. And then I just made, these are one of my big tea bags, and I waxed a um, this little flower girl, so you can use that wherever. So I didn't want to, I didn't put it in. So I just put it in the bag. And then there's another little pocket. Again, just a little pocket with coordinating tags with the little uh, collage envelopes and the paper look at the paper little collage and more music paper and these are just um uh, time cards from a tattered dream that i just cut with my um grand caliber die cut and then they just I like the shape. This is just an envelope with some goodies in there. All right, I'm sorry, glycine bag stamps. And then the other part of the bag that has, oh, just some tags. Just some pretty, pretty stuff. And then this is part of the kit with some extra paper on the bottom. So they all go in here. I love these little envelopes. It's an envelope bag. And then here, more stuff in this side. It's a little envelope that's made out of the poetry paper. And then here was another um, page of that book. And then I just flipped it up. And then there's a tag there. And there's some paper here. This is clear gesso, so there's rough on top. And then there's just some tags there. So it's just another book page and then it flips all the way up and there's decoupage and then you stick it back a frame napkin and that flips over and I'm going to run out of time here and another little tuck more tucks little flip up more goodies and then that's the back page with music paper and what you will get also with this book, it'll be listed in my Etsy, will be this little, um, I had a, a video on this, this little sub bag. This will be a little bonus. Um, and I did a flip through of this. That will come with this little journal. So that is it. And thank you. And I will be back. I have a design team project for Nevermore Creations. And I will be doing craft with me on some of her ephemera. So I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.